Just six days away from history on the Space Coast. Right now, the brand new rocket and astronaut capsule are sitting on the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. News 6's James Barbero joins us live with his exciting view. James. Beautiful view on a beautiful day, Ginger. Back there at pad 39A for the first time in nine years here at Kennedy Space Center. A new launch vehicle which is ready to fly astronauts. That's the SpaceX Crew Dragon on top of the Falcon 9 rocket. The hardware going vertical this morning into the launch position about 9 a.m. Crew Dragon expected to become only the fifth new spaceship used by NASA to fly astronauts in the agency's 60-year history. Those astronauts are Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley. We've been telling you a lot about them lately. The Space Shuttle veterans, who will become the first Dragon astronauts. Bankin and Hurley, 20-year NASA veterans, arriving here at the Space Center yesterday. Today, the astronauts and the SpaceX and NASA teams meeting in a final get-together, looking for status updates from all of the different engineers and launch managers before the go is given to move forward with liftoff. That is next Wednesday, the 27th, 4.33 in the afternoon. If that final meeting concludes this afternoon, NASA tells us it will hold a press conference with the astronauts. We will give you the astronauts' latest remarks if that happens. Also, Ginger, tomorrow we expect the test firing of this brand new Falcon 9 rocket. That's when the rocket itself doesn't go anywhere, but you see all the smoke back there at the pad from the rocket's nine engines. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.